Hello, it's Oscar again, and today I'll be working on the cylinder heads of the uh, Sierra XR 4x4 2.9 litre engine. You see here I've got a uh, valve compression tool. Bought this off uh, Amazon for £6. Pretty good deal. And, yeah, it, uh, if you see here the black, it's quite hard to see this light, the black, uh, one is longer than the other, these black bits. Um, that is so you can grasp it, basically. And there's the other side. There you go. Um, I'll just be spinning these down. See, as you spin it, the, uh, the metal plate comes down. And shouldn't do that. Uh, I'll probably have to use both hands for this, so... Yeah. Um, if you're wondering where this plate came from, it's... Uh, this plate here, I just took it off there, and the actual, I think they're rocker heads, they're over on this bench, they've just been sitting there, but they were taken off a while ago actually, and uh, I'm not too sure why, but it just makes my life easier I guess. Um, yeah, I'll end this clip now and uh, be back to you shortly. Okay, I'm back, so I had to use a G clamp and a 14mm socket to um, break the seal with the uh, valve keeper, because it had actually seized. So I've done that just on this one to demonstrate. As you can see, I've used the compression tool and it's popped up again because previously I was t twisting it, twisting it and nothing was happening. So it should be easier to come off now. Obviously I'll have to try and use, yeah, I'll have to use two hands for this. But um, I'll be back in a minute. I'll just show you how I got around the uh, C's keepers problem. Okay, um... I finally removed the first spring, well, the valve sleeves. Here they are. I used a magnet to get them out, and you should always use a magnet to avoid damaging them. And you don't really want to stick your fingers in there because I've seen a few videos and uh, they say these are known to fail. So just to be safe, use a magnet. And if I unwind it, unwind it now, I really need a tripod or something. I do for now. Get some winding it. Whew. There we go. Springs off. It's upside down. <laughs> Sorry about that. Springs off. There you go. And it came off there. Now I'll, I'll just carry on removing them all on this piece and the next piece. And uh, see you in a bit. Uh, this might be a bit helpful to some people, but because I want them to go in the same place as they came out, I've done a little chalk plan on this plank of wood. And I'm just lining them up. So this one's on the, I think it's the left one. This one here. And I just did an outline and put the uh, valve, well, the spring down and the valve uh, pieces there. So yeah, just a handy little way of uh, making sure we're getting in the right places when it comes to rebuilding. This one was a lot easier to do. It was It was just not as uh, rusty or seized. So this is easier to come off. Anyway, um, here's the uh, magnet again. There we are. And I'll put these down to two. There you go, all laid out. So yeah. I'll put them down now actually, just to demonstrate. <laughs> Sorry, the lighting in here is awful. Okay, I'm halfway through this cylinder head. It's coming together on the floor, on the plan. And uh, if you're wondering how far I put down the uh, the uh, compression tool, I put the longer bit, uh, one, let's call them coils, <laughs> one coil up from the bottom, and the shorter one goes two coils up. I find that's the easiest way to do it, because you get more of a grip on it. But uh, I'll carry on pulling this one apart and uh, see you in a minute. Ok 
Yeah, finished um, removing the springs of that one, so moving on to this one. I've done the plan, obviously it'll be reserved, uh, reversed, because it's um, on the other side. So, yeah, um, it's going quite well. And I'll see you in a minute. Okay, I've finished dismantling the uh, cylinder heads, and this is what it looks like so far. You see I've used the chalk, as mentioned earlier in the video, so I don't... <laughs> Confuse myself, and there it is on the side view. Yep, um, these will be sent off to be um, machine well sandblasted really, then painted. Uh, so will the engine block over here. I'll just show you the engine block. I did a previous video about that. Here's all my pistons and uh, bearings and whatnot. There's a the rocker heads, obviously, from the uh, cylinder heads. Um, Here's the engine block. If I haven't already mentioned, it's a Sierra XR 4x4 V6, and we're converting it from a 4x4 to a like two-wheel drive one. Um, there's this oil sump that will be painted as well. You see, um, there's well, there's a 4x4 one, and that's a normal one. So yeah. Um, they're not doing too bad. Oh, I'll probably add another lick of WD-40 and oil on them, just to stop them going rusty. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, oh, um, I'm sending the parts off this uh, next Monday, so that's in like five days or something. So I'll show you what they look like from there, and I'll see you next time. Bye.